Salespeople are in massive competition today with all the distractions that are out there for the client's attention. We want to get our message across about how we can help build their business, but it is a tough road to hoe here because of all the competition we face. Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Carnegie Training here in Japan. We're broadcasting from the Mochizuki Room in the High Performance Center for Dale Carnegie here in Akasaka, Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Well, meetings, emails, social media, there are so many things that are occupying the minds of our clients and buyers before we get to talk to them. We have the appointment, we have the time, we have the date, we turn up, but inside their minds there's a lot going on about what's already happened in the day, what's going to happen in the day. They are thinking about many things but not about us. There's a great little acronym, C-A-R-E-S, CARES, which will help us to break through some of that that competition we have for their attention. C stands for compliment. Now when you go to someone's office there might be something there that's really spectacular or something that's very impressive. Pay them a compliment. But don't pay them the sort of compliment that every other salesperson coming through the door is giving them. Uh, there's a company here has got a beautiful foyer, a very spectacular wall feature. Now I know every single salesperson goes in and will say, oh what a spectacular wall feature. We could do better than that. We can go in there and say, You've got a beautiful office. Have you found that it's really impacted the motivation of the team since you've moved here? Something a bit more intelligent we're asking that about uh, how the impact of that's uh, been for them in their, in their business. We're now on a business topic. The second one is to ask a question. The A out of care, C-A-R-E-S, A, ask a question. So it might be something like, uh, how have you found things going with the prospect of a, a rise in taxes coming up. Is your company confident that this is not going to have a big impact on your business? So we get them into a business discussion straight away about where their business is going, getting them to talk about how they are seeing the future. This is good for us because we get an idea of their glimpse into where they're going. R might be for referral. Now referral could be someone who's introduced us to them or someone that maybe uh, we know mutually. You know, I, I was talking to Bob the other day and he, he said, you guys are doing a great job over here. And uh, he suggested, you know, maybe I should come and talk to you and here I am today. I'd like to really find out a little bit more about your business. See if there's any possibility that maybe we can help you to take it even further. Something like that to get into a discussion about the business, break from what they've been thinking about to uh, where we can go with our conversation today. E is for educate. Now, as salespeople, we often come in, we've got a, a great questioning model, and we want to ask a lot of questions, try and find out about the business, where they want to go, what's stopping them, what's going to mean for them if we see some success. But that's all very much one way, isn't it, for us. Very important if we can come in and talk about something that's in really value to them. Some information we've picked up in the market, uh, something we've seen in the media, or something we've seen that's relative to their industry or their sector of the industry, so we can talk intelligently about that. because. When you're in sales, often you're dealing with a very broad range of industries and companies and you'll see something working in another industry, unrelated, that might have some good benefit to them in their industry and when you start connecting the ideas together, they see a benefit in talking to you because they're being provided with some information they didn't have to help grow their business. And lastly, S is for startle. Now this is one of those things where, again, you've really got to try and break through all of the competitions going in their mind, something that's really going to make them sit up and take notice. So this might be something like the youth population has halved in the last 20 years, it's going to halve again in the next 40 years. We are going to run out of people for our businesses and we're going to run out of clients. What do you think for your company, what's the future look? Is your market demographic a prospect? How will that, how will that look for you? So. Again, you know, halving of the market, it's going to halve again another 40 years. What does that mean for you? How are you going to deal with that? So we start getting them onto a business topic, get them thinking about business with us. And this is where we're going to now go into the questioning phase. We'll get talk about our credibility statement, about why they should deal with us. Because it's no like and trust in sales, isn't it? They have to know about us. This C-A-R-E formula is to get a little bit of conversation going so they start to feel comfortable with us, they start to like us, and they start to trust us so we can ask for permission to ask questions to really dig in and fully understand the client. So C-A-R-E-S, CARES, great way 
to break into a very, very busy day for a very busy buyer and get them to concentrate on our conversation and not be distracted. If we do that, we'll then have a much better sales conversation and we will get outcomes that will work for everybody.